I will never leave you. I am patient and faithful. If my goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your lives, then why do you live in such desperate households? Finally, I'm out of the office. Now I can actually go home and spend some quality time with my family. If I'm awake enough to enjoy it. Seems all I do is go through the door and straight to the chair and pass out. I can usually get about five minutes and that's when it all starts. The little one running around screaming, chasing the dog. David yelling at her to shut up because he's working on whatever art project he's got going. I swear that's the only class that kid does any homework for. Oh, and then his mom starts in on me. Don, why don't you get out your lazy butt up out of the chair and do something? I swear, I just need an hour when I come through the door. Just an hour to rest. Sometimes I actually have to get up and go out. Just walk out of the house just to get a breath. But she just doesn't understand what it's like working at a job with employees who don't respect you all day long and a boss who takes credit for every extra penny my department makes. And of course, everything I do is reported somewhere. So when my review comes up again in six months, I won't get another raise. Again. And then I have to go home and get told how tight the budget is, like I don't know. And of course she has to tell me her opinion about how I should tell my boss to stick it, and where he can stick his review. I could never do that. I mean, he's going to retire in another ten years, and I'm one of four people up for the job. I can't rock the boat now. He's just the type of guy who would tell the VP at his retirement party, don't promote that guy, he's insubordinate. <laughs> and these kids, I know I'm losing them, I can tell. I mean, I lost Jenny before college. Uh, David, I know I lost even before high school. And the little one? Well, she's too young to know what's going on, but even she knows that daddy doesn't have enough time for her. <sighs> I didn't want this to happen. I wanted to be the best dad, I wanted to be perfect but there just doesn't seem to be enough time. There just isn't enough time. It's like I just walk from pile to pile. Bills, laundry, invoices for work and dishes. I straighten up in the living room and they make a mess in the kitchen. I finally get the dishes done and the laundry is all piled up. I find socks two feet from the hamper. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. Mom will get it. You'd think they could just take two steps and throw it in. I mean, they're perfectly capable of helping, but oh no. They'll tell me they'll do it just to get me to shut up, but I'll end up doing it anyway because they either take too long or they don't do it right. Okay, I admit it, I probably yell too much. I'm just so tired. You know, I work too, almost as many hours as he does. But just because I happen to have more estrogen than testosterone automatically makes me responsible for everything at home too. I have two full-time jobs and he claims to be the provider who should be able to come home and put up his feet and relax after a long day at work. He, he actually asked me if I could get better control of my moods and not yell so much. Are you kidding me? Mr. Recliner, who would rather hold the remote and press buttons and tell me to take some Prozac, finally wants to discuss my moods? <sighs> he even tried to score some points last week by renting a chick flick. Runaway Bride. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I'd been that daring. What they should do is make a sequel with Julia Roberts about, you know, 40 pounds heavier, a few gray hairs and no makeup. She'd be screaming at Richard to get off the couch and help her clean up the third kid's puke from the carpet. And the other two off in the background fighting over the TV remote. And Richard gets off the couch, but grabs the keys and heads to the garage. Because that's what men do in times of crisis. They just, they leave. They walk away. I just wish. I just wish they'd stop, you know? They fought the whole way here. Sure, they're smiling now, but 
They weren't smiling two hours ago down here in the car. I don't know what they were arguing about this time. I couldn't hear them over my iPod. I used to get in the middle of it, but I gave that up about a year ago. You know, it's not about right or wrong. It's, it's about I'm right, you're wrong. Yeah, this iPod I got, I can shut them out any time. Just me, my MP3, and my drawings. You know why comics are so cool? Because they have heroes who were just normal guys. Until that one day when it happened and they broke out. Something changed and instead of being controlled by the world, they, they were given power to take control of the world. Some choose to be victims, some choose to uh, be good guys. Man, I wish that was me. You know, but it's not. I'm just some guy the girls won't even talk to because they don't think I'm cool enough or something. If I were a comic book, my story would be about this guy who gets a call in the middle of the night, only to find out it's bad news. And I'd be rushing to the hospital and I'd find my sister in tears because some guy had raped her and... You'd see my face and turn from concern for his sister to anger. And then he walks and goes to that university and finds that guy and make him pay for what he did. A superhero could stop the fighting. A superhero could save all. Save all from never knowing the disappointment and reality that the rest of us know. If only we could. Man, if we only could be together like this more often. Okay, we're not perfect, but my family's kind of like an old pair of socks. Sure, there are holes in the toes and Kool-Aid stains. And when you dance around, they roll down and flop in front of your feet. But they fit, and besides, they're the only pair you got. Thank you.